All right, so the first one I'm gonna go into is the more basic triplet. Because you've got two different kinds of triplets, right? You've got... Well, you've got... You're gonna need a difference, right? So one is... One is... So, this one, you can do on the cymbals to get quite a Mitch Mitchell-y sound, right? So it's just... So just a quick demonstration of it before I get into it. Is... Right? And it's pretty simple. Um, it's one of them ones that sounds complex, but once you get down to it, really, really simple. And you can make all different kinds of sounds with it. You can go... Right? So it's just... Now you want to... Um, you can put the bass drum anywhere you like. I don't know how other to put the bass drum in this rhythm, but I just put it on the down. So when you hit the cymbal, first hit. Right bass drum or left bass drum, whatever you want to use. I don't know how to use double bass drum in this rhythm, but yeah, so it's hit the snare twice after that. You know. around the kit, so... And, you know, once you make that faster and faster, it's just going to be flowing, man. That's just what happened to me, at least. So when... So it's just, it's a rock one, basically. It's a jazzy rock thing. <laughs> Uh, the John Bonham triplet, but there's another bass drum added onto it because John Bonham has one bass drum, one big ass bass drum. Um, so this one's a John Bonham triplet with the other bass drum added onto it, right? So the normal John Bonham triplet is left hand, right hand kick, bass drum, you know. Right? This one's got the other bass drum added onto it afterwards, so it is right. So like, but spread out across the drums. Each drum is playing a different part of this. That's basically what it is. You know, you can do it with your right hand. I can't really do that. How the hell you do that, I have no idea. You can reverse the bass drums, right. Go from left to right bass drum. It all depends on what hand you use, but at the end of the day, it's right. So to speed that up, right. And if you want, it's optional to add a cymbal in there. I do my left hand because with the hand you start with, it flows with it, you can do the other hand, and then that kind of goes off rhythm. Or I'm, I'm not bothered about going off rhythm, I'm just a messy drummer, so... Yeah, when I do the solo, I'll, I'll go off time a bit, but in the solo, I'll try to keep on time at least. Alright, so... The last rhythm before I put all of these into an example of a, of a beat um, is... Just a basic double bass drum um, solo beat. So uh, there's two ways of doing this thing. So it's just the kind of beats you do when the double bass drum is going at the bottom, just like. So. You can put any kind of thing under the dumbbell. Like that. But any, anything you want, you can just go like a song, like. So here you go. And it's going to take a while to get that, unless you're fucking superhuman. Um, if you are, then uh, lucky you. But it took me fucking four months to learn these kind of rhythms, you know, last year. Um, it took quite a while, so it's the most basic one is. We've got a four 
The last one I wanted to teach is a, a basic um, Ginger Baker solo kind of thing. And I'm going to demonstrate it now, so... That, right? So it's... It's really hard to do this slow. I never actually do it extremely slow, but it's... Basically... While, while the symbol's going, so... See, I did it wrong there, so...